Of all the candidates running for Alabama's U.S. Senate seat, only one actually has a history as an elected official. Yeah, Representative Mo Brooks stepping away from his seat in the U.S. House as he makes a run to replace Senator Richard Shelby. News 19's Madison Neal live in Huntsville at Mo Brooks election night celebration. Madison. Jerry, Representative Mo Brooks has been elected to Congress six times. Before that, he served on the Madison County Commission and the Alabama State Legislature. He says that his experience is an asset that will set him apart from his competition. Mo Brooks grew up in Huntsville and graduated from Grissom High School in 1972. He graduated from Duke University in three years with a double major in political science and economics. In 1978, he graduated from the University of Alabama Law School. After graduation, Mo Brooks works at a prosecutor in the Tuscaloosa District Attorney's Office. Brooks was first elected to public office as a member of the Alabama House of Representatives in 1982. He also served as Madison County's District Attorney on the Madison County Commission and has been elected to serve Alabama's 5th Congressional District six times. Except when he served as prosecutor, court clerk, or congressman, Brooks says the bulk of his income came from the private sector through his private legal practice. Brooks says his experience is what makes him the best candidate for U.S. Senate. Yeah, in this race, the choices are very, very clear, and I think most voters are figuring it out. If you want a John McCain style of Republican, well, then Mike Durant is probably your best choice. If you want a Mitch McConnell establishment wing of the party, special interest group, open borders, cheap foreign labor type of Republican, and there are voters who want that, then Katie Britt is your choice. But if you want the MAGA principal conservative, well, I'm the only conservative in this race. And Brooks says he's confident that Alabama voters will recognize his experience today at the polls. For now, reporting live at the Mo Brooks election celebration, Madison Neal, News 19.